So I just finished installing the Generation 3 Tesla wall connector. You can see it right there on the wall. It's next to a bunch of other EVSC. We've got the Bosch, the Clipper Creek, the Flow, the Juice Box, and the Charge Point Home Flex. And now we are going to plug in the Model 3 and see how the wall connector works. Okay, it's plugged in. We're about 60% charged and it's starting to ramp up. We're at 20 amps just about now. If you notice, the voltage is starting to drop as the amperage goes up. That's normal. We started off, I think we're at 245 volts. Now we're down to 237 volts. And as we climb up to 48 amps, and there we are. Uh, you can see on the left, the car is drawing 11 kilowatts. Uh, that would be uh, it would be 11.5 if we were getting the full 240 volts right now. It's one of the things people sometimes get a little confused about. They ask how come the car isn't drawing, say. 7.4 kilowatts if they were charging at 32 amps sometimes your voltage is a little bit low and you'll notice that when as the amps draw increases as you're drawing more amperage the voltage will drop so it's that's totally normal and uh, right now so wall connector is delivering 48 amps to the car as it's supposed to and there it is up there compared to the other chargers and we're going to be doing a full review very shortly.